All right, beginning of a, another section of the engine rebuild, which I hope you'll find interesting. Um, I've now got all the shims set correctly. Everything is now as close as it can be, if not perfect. And now it's time to prepare the head before I put it on. And by that I mean polishing it, painting it, and getting everything ready. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is polish. Because once I've got all the polishing done, then I'll mask up the polished bit and then paint it. Why mask it up? Because it's in a spray can. <sighs> Bum. So I've got myself some buffing tools to do this. Um, I will not show you all of the buffing I'm going to do because that's going to be pretty damn boring. But I'll show you some. Um, and initially it's just going to be polishing up around here. Not there. Um, and there. And that, yeah, and around both sides of course. That will probably be it for the polishing. This is rough cast so this is all going to be painted back here. Um, I've merely covered all of this in tape because when you start buffing shit flies everywhere and I don't want to get that in with the uh, camshaft area where I've just finished cleaning everything and lubing everything up and I don't want to wash all the lube out and then put it all back in again that'd be pretty dumb so that's next is to turn this so that I can buff it and uh, hopefully Jimmy will be proud Jimmy buff it I know you love these jokes, otherwise you'd go out and see a real comedian. Alright, just a little bit of the polishing. I can't really show you me doing the polishing because it's extremely noisy. Um, this is a uh, pad I picked up from Harbour Freight um, and it fits in my grinder uh, using my um, uh, compound. This is the initial first compound you use. The second one um, is a white compound, which is for polishing, and you use these kind of uh, buffers. And this is another hard pad if I need to use it in another big block. Um, I've also got these little corner ones for getting in the uh, little tight spaces which attach to my air tools. So this is the first stage. As you can see, it's come up quite nice. It's not as good as I want to get it, but I'm not going to go for chrome finish. I just want to get it really nice. Now, because of the head and the way it is and where I've got it and the bench and blah, 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 blah. It's like do this side and do this and then turn the whole head around and then do this side and do that. So uh, it, it's going to be a little bit of a, a long winded process, but you can see how it's developing. Um, I've still got some more work to do with the uh, this is kind of. It's not coarse, but it's coarser than the White Rouge. The White Rouge is Molia. Molia? Oh, yes, it's definitely Molia. I've been watching too many Indian films. <laughs> it's definitely... Oh, dear. I crack myself up. <sighs> Ahmed. Right. Um, it's got a, it's got, we've got to cut it more. I've got to get a, a little the surface a little flatter. <laughs> Um, again, not perfect, but a, a little flatter, and then we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish off this side. I'll do the other side. There's no point in me showing you uh, that because it, it's boring. Um, but anyway, do understand that uh, this is how I'm doing it. You don't have to do it that way. You can do it whatever way you like. You're big boys and girls. And hey, if you are big boys and girls out there doing stuff, love to hear about it. And as I believe it's, uh, what's his name? James May on Drive Tribe says, like and subscribe. Oh, and hit the ding dong bell, because that way you get to see more shit when I do it. All right, we're getting there, guys. This is all going to be cleaned off, as you can see. This is just, the, this is all dark. Yeah, we'll get there and then you'll see it. This is as far as I'm going to go on this side. I have buffed it, cut it, made it look shiny. Yes, there are blemishes here, here, here. It doesn't matter. 
the car was built in 1964. It's going to have some scars. I want to make it look nice, but not over restored. I'm changing things on it, as I'm sure you've seen. Um, I'm making it my car. When I'm dead and gone, and the next person takes it over, he can do what he likes with it, or she. And that would be a nice thought, that a female would actually take the car over and do it. You girls need to come up more in this male-dominated scene. So, next thing to do now is get over this side, do the same there, and then once that's done, then I can look at painting the rest of it. And that may involve taking all that tape off and retaping it, but hey, blue tape is cheap, unlike me. I'm easy, I'm just not cheap. Just wanted to throw this little bit in here so you can get a touch of before and after. See how matte that looks. So, and here at the front. So you can see how the improvement will be by using those buffing tools. Hopefully you can see that okay. If not, oh well. All right, I have now done one pass on this with the brown cutting compound. As you can see, not as good as that side, but it's getting there. I'll do a couple more passes just to make it look a little better and then we'll go over with the white rouge and polish it up then once that's done we'll mask it up uh, and spray paint the correct engine or uh, cylinder head colour in these areas here where it's rough cast and in here. Um, I'd like to keep those washers still looking coppery. We'll see, that means I would have to take those out. Don't know if I want to do that. Not sure about that. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Because if I do that then the nuts themselves, those I may well do my new heat treatment on. We will see um, and see how that goes. You will know as soon as I know. All right, there we go for the moment. All right, here it is. This is as far as I'm going to go with it. I have uh, polished it up, not super chromey as I've mentioned, and I've now given it a, a quick coat of clear lacquer. That is how it is going to be. So hopefully you can see that uh, it looks quite nice, not perfection, 1964 as I've said before. So there you go. Next, then once that's dried, is I will then uh, mask it up ready for painting, but that probably won't be for a couple of days because I want to make sure that that lacquer is completely dry before I stick tape on it. I'd hate to stick tape on it and then it comes off. So, there you go. That's the end of this particular clip. I know it's very short. Um, I might... Actually, yes, I will. I'm just going to show you the uh, the covers um, before and then uh, the next video will start with the after. Well, here are the valve covers. Uh, in one hell of a state. Just a little uh, word of advice before you start polishing these. Check them inside. Unfortunately, there are idiots out there that have no idea what a torque setting is. And they will over crank and split these cam cover holes. It'll, you know. Fortunately, mine look perfectly okay. Yep, mine, mine are okay, thankfully. So, I guess somebody didn't crack on these ones. Um, a lot of cleaning up to do. I think I'll leave cleaning the edges until after I've given them a, 
a polish and then I'm going to clean these edges off. They don't need much. Now normally you wouldn't put sealant on this when you're putting the gaskets on. But as these are probably old and warped a little, I'm probably going to put a very thin line of sealant, but that's not until I finish it off. All right, let's uh, get on and start doing some some polishing. This is going to be a job and a half. But, hey, that's part and parcel of the fun. The biggest problem I'm going to have is getting into these little nooks and crannies. This flat surface, that will be okay. Well, relatively flat. Some tape or something stuck on there. Yuck. Get that off first. All right. This is the before. Next video, we'll start with the after, at least on one of these. All right, I know I promised it would be the next video, but I've been working on this now, and I just wanted to show you um, one of the stages, I guess. You saw the covers before, how bad they were. This is with a light sanding. I have gone over this with 400 grit wet and dry paper and also a little quick rub with these scotch cloths down here i have can taken it to the next stage i was using a thousand on it um it didn't really take it down as much as i would like so then i got uh, my sander here and uh see what this sheet is it's a 220 but it's in an orbital sander and I've taken it down to this level, then went over it again with a thousand, uh, a thousand grit. And you, you know, you go a thousand, two thousand. You, you work it as as you need to for your particular project. Now on the end here, I just give it a little buff, but it's not, uh, it's not anywhere near finished. But that was after I'd done those other stages, and then just used my uh, my buffer here. Uh, unfortunately the battery died on me have a lot of trouble with batteries um, and using the uh, the brown rouge which is uh, the one for getting you know it's, it's 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 relatively aggressive it's not terribly aggressive that feels nice and smooth but you can see blemishes in it I'm going to see how that comes out uh, once I get some shine on it I may just accept it because as you know I'm not going for chrome finish but I want it to look nice. So, just thought I'd add that on the end. It's awkward in all these little corners. There you can see I polished it a little more just to see how it would go. It came out quite nice, so I may end up with just using, uh, or just taking it to that level. I mean, that's nice and shiny. It... Yeah, it, it's just, I, I think that's that's good. So I think that's probably the level I'm going to go to. It's a lot of hard work. So be prepared to uh, make your fingers and hands ache. Um, use as many electric tools as you can because it will save you. Not As I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to do in here. I've got some little, uh, little ones in my Dremel kit, which is probably what I'm going to have to do in there. Um, a little, get some little uh, more Dremel ones. And getting in these corners is going to be you know an absolute nightmare but that's 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 kind of the enjoyment of it i'm sitting here i got the youtube going with actually jeff dunham at the moment listening to him about model building and he's a nice uh, well he seems like a nice guy um and i'm whilst that's going on i'm just working on this got myself a glass of wine got my fan going although it's off at the moment because it interferes with the camera um and it's just a nice day being quarantined, believe it or not. My wife's busy working in the uh, office. Well, it's our dining room, which has become an office. Um, and this is, I don't know, this is kind of enjoyable. And look, it's dirty. So you will get dirty. So be a dirty boy or girl. Right, that really is the end of this video.